if we reach 20,000 subscribers before we reach Disney World. I made a deal on Twitter with someone. I sent, I sent out a tweet and said, hey, give me an idea, guys. If we hit 20,000 subscribers, something that we could do um, to repay you guys for getting us to 20,000 subscribers. You know what I said? I said, whoever comes up with the best one, I'll do it. what I'm doing today laundry and shaytards laundry and shaytards I only have like two more loads of laundry and I will be all caught up and the goal is to be almost completely packed by tomorrow which is Wednesday because Thursday I have one cake to decorate before going out of town but the countdown is on guys it is so close to Disney. I'm about to say Daisy girl to go play but she has no idea and watch how excited she's about to get. So I'm not very happy right now guys. Do you want to know why? I just got done folding a load of laundry and these clothes have to be rewashed. I was about to hang this shirt up which is like one of my favorite shirts and do you see all that? It looks really disgusting. I was like oh my gosh what is that? It does not look very good right? <laughs> and then as I was going through the rest of the load I realized that there are chocolate wrappers in somebody's pockets. I don't know whose pockets they were. They were not my pockets because I know to empty them before I put them in the laundry, dirty clothes and I've asked all three boys to do the same. Please empty your pockets before you put your clothes in the laundry. Laundry takes so much time as it is so if I have to go through and empty everybody's pockets then it takes more time. But obviously, washing the loaded clothes again takes more time as well. Oh yeah, and if that does not come out of my favorite shirt, I'm going to be very unhappy. Last week, whenever Jacob and Eric and Xander went to see Coach Mike for a lesson, you guys saw it in the video, well, Eric made a bet with Jacob, $20, that he could not pitch and knock the ball off the tee. Well, you guys saw he did it. So with his $20, I don't know if you guys, if we told you guys, but he decided to buy a new phone case because the phone case he had, his best friend across the street has the same one. And so every time both of their phones are set down, they get them confused. So this is the case that he picked out. This time it's pretty cool looking. And he doesn't know that it came in today. So I've already put it on his phone and he's gonna be really surprised. It even has like a little, um, what do you call this thing? So it props up so we can watch YouTube videos. Yeah, that thing. <laughs> a stand. That's what I was trying to think of. It has a stand. This morning on the way to school, Xander told me that he did not want me to walk home today after school. He wanted me to ride my bike with him like we used to do last school year because it takes so long for us to get home. And I agree. And it's hot outside. The reason I was walking is because I needed steps for these step beds. Well, last night I forgot to get bread at the grocery store and so I didn't have anything to pack them for lunch today. So this morning after I dropped off the kids, I went and bought stuff at the store for their lunches and then I walked Zanders up to his school. So I got my steps I needed today. So now I get to ride bikes home. Both kids want me to have the phones on, like my phone was Pokemon for Xander and Jacob's phone was his Pokemon on for him so that I can hatch eggs while I'm riding my bike. Thankfully, I have a little clip that holds the phone on my handlebars, so I only have to hold one phone because if I had to hold both of them, it would not be pretty. And if I get all their eggs hatched, they better thank me and tell me that I'm the best mom ever. I made new bread. You did? Yeah. Good job. My phone case came in? No. No way. <laughs> No way. Do you I'm like it? How you are. <laughs> this is like the best thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Seriously, dude. How am I supposed to take the. It comes out, it's just a little tough. 
Did you put the new screen there? Yeah. You're so cool! Do you like it? I feel like a grown man with a grown cake. <laughs> Don't know what I said, but yeah. <laughs> man. That's That's crazy. Okay. I don't care! And I hatched a couple of your eggs as well, dude. What did you get? Don't tell me. I want to look. A rare puppy. I don't tell him, he said. Nope, that's wrong. Enough. I'm just going to see. My phone case! Okay, so Draco, do you really want to see what the blue guy just got? Is? Yeah. Came in. <laughs> Man! Why am I so excited about a phone case? I have no idea. Woo! I think you're more excited about this case than you are your phone. Mm, yeah. This looks a lot cooler than the phone did. The phone was plain. <laughs> All phones are plain. Oh, yeah, my Pokemon. <gasps> What's that? It's tasty. That's the Pokemon. I didn't want. I'm about to get three. Why do you catch me all these weekies? This. So you made a friend today? Yeah. You did? Yeah. What's their name? Ethan. Awesome. What did y'all talk about? Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and Xbox 360. Guess what? You're not grounded this weekend. Why? Oh yeah! I made a friend! <laughs> so last week I let it slide since it was the first week of school. But I was not going to let it slide this week. I know some of you guys were thinking I was being mean, but the reason I said he was gonna yeah, be, you were. No, I wasn't. The reason I was saying he's gonna be grounded was because he wasn't listening to me. That's a good reason to be grounded. Not really. And you were gonna have the longest flight to Disney ever without yeah. video games yeah, if you did not know, make a friend. Yeah, my new phone case will handle that stuff. <laughs> You're just gonna look at your phone case for yeah, three hours. Yeah, so like it's like man, it's so smooth. <laughs> wow, yeah. I'm so glad you like it, dude. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Back to homework. Week there two of school. More peanut butter cookies and chocolate chip. You're making me want cookies talking about all these. Dang, you're fast, dude. I told you to do two sheets of your packet of four. And how much time did it take you? Mm -hmm. Five minutes to do two sheets? Not even. Not even five minutes. Good job, dude. High five. Mm -hmm. Now that he's done with homework, he's out here shooting the BB gun. Did you hit it? No. no. Hit something. The bench way on top. Oh. <laughs> Aim for the little thing. That bench is getting it. I'm aiming for the bench. Oh, Ooh, you got it. Good job, buddy. Do it again. Not oh, right up. over it. Oh, right to the left. Remember, concentrate. I, came out. I was like, I don't know where that one went. Alright, last try. <laughs> you gotta hit this one, you have to go to bed. No. So you better aim good. You better aim good or it's good. Night night. It never I'll even shot. Yeah, it did. No, I'll no. give you one more. Actually, take the time to aim or else you have to go to bed if you miss it. Gotta make it. Concentrate. <laughs> Concentrate. Hey, when you're, not, when you're not aiming, take your finger off that trigger. Hold the gun right. Hold it right. Hold it right. Right, that, that's what I told you to hit. Then you slide the, the bench. Right over it. We saw it on video that time. Boom. Nailed it. I'm going to zoom in on the box. Heard it. Not right there. I was aiming at the grass. You hit the squirrel in the face. Are we rolling? We are. All right. So I told you guys yesterday that we would talk about what that awesome little thing was that I uh, was showing you on the video. You know Anybody did, guess? Yeah. Somebody guessed. Did they? Yeah. They, <laughs> they just recently guessed. I read the comment section and somebody just guessed it a little while ago. So 
What this is, is a baseball hat. All right? Bam. Now when a ball gets hit right back at him, when he finishes his pitch, he follows through, right? When he pitches properly, he follows through. It leaves the side of his head open. But not anymore, because Amy was worried. After she, she's been worried. After she saw me get hit, and she's read stories and stuff about other people getting hit from... Well, and that he's moving up and playing with 13-year-olds that are like double yeah. his so size. so he's 11, and he'll be playing with some kids that are 13 years old. So, yeah, two years above it. That has like mustaches and goatees hey, and... I'm drawing one. <laughs> That's called a milk mustache, kiddo. <laughs> <laughs> so we have uh, this thing from Safer Sports Technologies, STS. Amy ordered it. They look like little brake pads for a car, but they're not brake pads. They are um, it inserts that go inside of your hat, right Amy? Right. So what happens is you uh, put them in like this. So you'll do that. There's this uh, little tape, double-sided tape here that goes in here. Goes right up in there. Underneath the flap. And then this right here clips on the outside. Oops, Maybe. actually onto the inside. I right. Because the there's a little cushion here on the inside. If I can get this thing to work. Why can't you use tape? All right. So that's that side. I think I think I did this right. <laughs> Amy Amy knows how this thing works. She's paid more attention to it, but I just thought it was kind of cool. So there's that side. And then we have this side. Goes up in here. Put the clip on. There we go. Me, Is that correct? Up. See the inside of both the um, what is that called? The protection plate. <laughs> the protection plate and the clip has <laughs> the little padding on the inside. So and then we put the hat on. That doesn't fit my head. He's got a small head. <laughs> Come closer, closer. There we go. Now so your now when he gets hit protected. in the side of the head, he doesn't even feel it. I just did. That hurt. Well, here, let me get the baseball and we'll throw it at your head. No. <laughs> but now whenever he follows through, if he gets hit, it's not going to hurt his skull he's as not bad. Gonna yeah. get hit. He might, well, yeah, I'm just saying, though, if he were to get hit, it's not going to hurt him. Oh, It'll hurt either way, but this won't fracture his skull, <laughs> right? <laughs> right. Here is the company information if you guys are interested in getting one. Speaking of baseball, is he playing in the fall? Speaking of baseball, so the thing is we are going to miss baseball tryouts. We're not going to be there for the the league that we play in tryouts. There, there's two dates and both dates we're traveling. <laughs> we're not going to be in town. So we were on the fence as far as we were letting either one of the boys play baseball. Xander ended up wanting to play flag football and he, he flip flopped back and forth between baseball and, and going to play flag football. We decided to let him do flag football, so he's taken care of. He, met, he, he didn't need to go to the tryouts. He's good. He made a team. It's fine. We signed him up. He just gets put on our team randomly. He doesn't play flag football like all year round anyway, so it doesn't matter where he's where he's put at. And he wasn't able to join the other team that we mentioned, so right, that yeah. helped like, us. We mentioned there was by. another team that was going to be a Sunday league team or whatever, and he was going to play on that team where they had already filled that roster. So we didn't get to play on that. He was disappointed, but then some of the kids from that team were still going to play flag football, and he's going to play with them playing flag football. So Xander's done, we got his sports cover for the fall. Jacob, on the other hand, we were flip-flopping back and forth because you know, we thought about sending him to select. There's all the travel, the fees involved in that. It's pretty expensive and I, I don't know. I'm just, I, I, I don't personally, and some of my friends I've talked to that have played baseball and one of my friends that was a professional baseball player, they don't recommend playing select ball until you're like 13 years old. So I really don't feel like spending the money. That, that, that's what it boils down to. I'm cheap. Call me cheap, whatever, I don't care. Frugal. But, I, frugal i am frugal <laughs> and i just don't i just don't think that select i think select balls watered down basically so, it is nowadays yes yeah because the area we live in there's about 15 teams in the small area that we live in there's about 15 teams it's not like we live in this where i'm saying the city of houston the city of houston has hundreds of teams that are select balls that are select ball teams <laughs> so our final decision was <clears throat> let's just wait and see maybe we'll do lessons with him. Well, we'll send him to my buddy and have him do like one or two lessons a week. And we we wavered on that, but we don't want to miss seeing him play baseball. <laughs> well, Mike so, was busy with football Yeah, as Mike, well. Mike also does football as well uh, during the fall for the school that he works at. He's also moving up to another division. He was playing with 9 and 10 year olds and now he goes from 11 to 13. And so those coaches that have already been coaching 11 to 13 year olds don't really know a whole lot about Jacob. At least right. we don't know that they know a whole lot about him. 
So we were worried that he wasn't going to really get picked up. Did you just burp or something? No, my nose is itching, so I just did this. <laughs> so we were worried that he wasn't going to get picked up, and he was just going to get put on this team with a bunch of kids that didn't They've never try played out, because he's not trying played. out, so they're not supposed to be drafting him. And so then, to me, it's like, oh, that's going to be a waste of money. So I don't know, but we... I put on my thinking hat. That's what we did. I put on my thinking hat and I was like, well, let me let me uh, email the president of the league. And I, I talked to him and told him our situation. And he emailed me back eventually and said that he would give us a one-time exception. Any team can draft Jacob. He doesn't have the tryout, but any team can draft him. So right. there's going to be a lot of people that don't know him still. However, I do have his full stats from last season and the season before. I've compiled them in a stat sheet and I've compiled an email and I sent it to a couple of the coaches that I know are coaching because I did get a list of the coaches that are going to be there. And I know three of the coaches for sure, and, I, and I'm, I'd be fine with him playing on any of them. One of them is an elite coach. If he played elite, that's fine. I, if he I'm played definitely level, okay with that. <laughs> uh, but the other two are, are the higher level baseball coaches, and they've been coaching the higher level. They have select teams on the side. Like, they team up and have a select team on the side. So if he was drafted by one of those teams, that's good too because he's going to get that extra knowledge. Now, I, right. would, I would really be glad if he was drafted by one of those two teams. So we'll see how it works out, but we did go ahead and sign him up for the league again. He's going to play fall ball. We will have one baseball player for yeah. sure this fall. <laughs> and practice starts like right when we get back. It will. So we're going to have a lot of baseball footage. Amy's going to keep buying all his protective gear. He's going to be walking around in armor probably by the time the yes. season's over because she's all scared and her little baby's playing big boy ball or whatever. <laughs> well, he's the closest, whenever he pitches, he's the closest person nope. besides the catcher uh, to the batter. So, yes. Yeah. And they get bigger barrels in this mm, division. Got, well, see, he was going two and a quarter, and they've moved up to two and five-eighths, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah two it's two and five-eighths. He can play with that. So, it is a bigger barrel. They have a little so bit more pop, and we have some 13-year-olds that are playing. So, the thing is, it's fall ball, is what I keep telling Amy. The talent level is not as strong in fall. Okay, but he's still going to be playing in the spring, and guess what? He'll have all of this equipment <laughs> for spring. True, true. <laughs> How, how, how's our footage look today? Do we have a pretty good bit? Can we just go ahead and roll this up and yes. clip this down let's and do say it. we're My done? My arm is heavy. Oh, oh, oh. so yeah. let's keep talking. Oh, hey! I already told you. All right, one more thing, one more thing. I'm glad you're holding it, I'm not. Um, what was I going to say? I don't know, but my arm is Hold heavy. Hold on, no, no, stop. You're, you're getting us out of focus. You guys see the suitcases? I'm packing. They're, they're right back. There. But this guy is mad because he has to pack himself. She said she won't pack me. I'm not. I am your third child. I'm not packing for you. Um, what was I going to say? You, you threw me off, honey. Um, it was really important. Really important. Oh, yeah. That's it. If we reach 20,000 subscribers before we reach Disney World. I made a deal on Twitter with someone. I sent, I sent out a tweet and said, hey, give me an idea, guys. If we hit 20,000 subscribers, something that we could do um, to repay you guys for getting us to 20,000 subscribers. You know what I said? I said... Whoever comes up with the best one, I'll do it. And somebody came up with the best one. Mr. Chris said, get a YouTube tattoo. Okay. Or actually, he just said get a tattoo. And, and then I, I said, let's get a play. I'll get a play button tattoo. I don't So agree. if we can get, it doesn't matter. I already said that. It didn't matter what Amy said. Um, if we reach 20,000 subscribers before we get to Disney World, which is like three days, <laughs> and we need about 1,800 subscribers, if we reach that, I'll get a YouTube uh, play button tattoo. Yes, I will. Yay. It was either that or shave my head. Which would you rather me do? No, because you are going to be in a lot of pictures for Disney. I know. So which one would you prefer happen. me have? The, <laughs> the tattoo. tattoo is about this big. Hey, it's a play button. I will get it somewhere it's on my that body. that big? No, it won't be that big. But it, I mean, it's not going to be huge. Of course not. It's going to be something pretty simple. Huh? That's okay. it for today. Thank Hopefully you, you guys enjoyed this vlog. Hopefully you can get us to 20,000 subscribers. Yeah. Please do. <laughs> and uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because that will get us to 20,000 subscribers. We'll love you guys. You. Uh, she does not. I love you guys. Especially if you get me to 20,000 subscribers. Bye. See ya.